Gulnar Velieva, a 23-year-old resident of St. Petersburg, seems to have fallen right into the fairy tale of Bluebeard. A beautiful and kind girl, she did not even suspect the trap she had fallen into. Neither did her parents, because it was a fairy tale with a sad ending. The marriage of 23-year-old Gulnar Velieva and 34-year-old Samir Agabibov was arranged by their parents according to Azerbaijani traditions. On April 15th, they played a gorgeous wedding, and a few days later, the young bride disappeared without a trace. She disappeared on April 22, 2016. Six days later, there was no news from Guli, as she is affectionately called by her loved ones. The 23-year-old Gabibeva last contacted her mother. It was late in the evening on April 21. The girl said that she was preparing dinner for her spouse. On April 27, about 12 o'clock exactly, Gula called a female student, but the phone was already turned off, said a friend of the missing. And that's all. We could not reach her anymore. In the first leaflets, which were distributed on the streets and in the network, it was stated that Gulnar disappeared around 13 hours exactly at the corner of Leninsky Avenue and Marshal Zhukov Avenue. How is it in broad daylight and even on a busy street? Gulnar and her husband simply live on Marshal Zhukov Avenue. But we don't really know when and where exactly she disappeared. Maybe on the night of April 22nd and in a completely different place. The friend explains. Gabibova's family and friends didn't waste any time. The very next day, they filed a police report and asked for help from volunteers. Among others, activists of the search team Liza Alert started looking for the woman. They called all the hospitals, but Gulnar was nowhere to be found. Meanwhile, the police opened a criminal case under the article of murder. The usual practice in cases when a person goes missing, such qualification allows detectives to work as efficiently as possible, to conduct searches and interrogations. By the way, Gulnar's husband Samir also visited the police. Everything goes to the fact that he was the last person to see the girl. Samir's testimony is quite strange. He said that she left home around 13 hours and 30 minutes, went with her friends to the doctor. But she had classes that day, and she could not just leave without warning. Parvana Veliev, the girl's mother, worries. He is not particularly worried about the disappearance of his beloved woman. On the day of her disappearance, he called me for the first time around 11 in the evening. He asked me where Gulia was. Parvana recalls. But it is very strange, because he is generally quite jealous and should have put everyone on their guard during the day. According to Gulia's friends, he doesn't take any part in the search. And he said something about why these flyers should be past a dupe. At home we found both passports Gulnar, both Russian and foreign. As it turned out, Samir and Gulnar got married on April 15, 2016. Not to say that the couple knew each other well. Following Azerbaijani traditions, the newlyweds did not live together before the wedding and did not socialize much, went out a few times, went to a restaurant. Issues related to the wedding were decided by their parents. Whether Gulnar wanted to get married, her family says that she did. At the same time, they were obviously not in love with Samir Veliev. He is much older than her. He is 34 years old and he is quite strict. She was not allowed to go out with her friends, only with her mother. She was not allowed to correspond with friends on the internet either, Samir's acquaintances said. It came to the point that Samir forced Gulia to delete her page in social networks. Friends note that Gulnar could not stand up that Bulnar had recently become a recluse. So are Islamic radicals involved in her disappearance. After all, there have already been cases when secular girls put on burqas and ran away to ISIS, a terrorist organization banned in Russia. However, the girl's parents hoped that she did not run away to ISIS, but simply from her husband. They can be understood, no matter how you look at it, 
This is the most optimistic version. The parents appeal to their daughter through the newspaper. We really want to believe that Gulia will read this. Dear, we love you very much and are waiting for you back. Your brother and sister miss you very much. We can't find a place for you. Everyone is praying for you, both Muslims and Orthodox. Everyone's waiting for you to come home for a hug. Come back soon. It's not your fault. Gulner's father adds, you don't have to be afraid of anyone. At least just let us know that you are all right. We don't know much about Amiri Habibovi. Surprisingly, even Gulner's father didn't know what he was doing. And even more so, the friends of the deceased don't know about it. I think he works at the St. Petersburg port, but he never said exactly what he was, recalled one of Samir's acquaintances. At the same time, Gabibov clearly did not like to be in the public eye. He even started a page in the social network V Contacte under an assumed name. Maybe he was hiding from someone. It was rumored that he has a child from his first marriage. He didn't talk about it himself. Another friend of Gabibov's told us, Alas, this story has a tragic end. For more than a month, the police, volunteers and relatives searched for Bulnara Gabibova in St. Petersburg. Only her husband behaved strangely. He was not even engaged in the search. And now, it is clear why. 34. Year old Samir Gabibov was detained on suspicion of murder on the morning of Thursday, May 26th. As told in the investigation, he had already confessed to everything and showed where he hid the body. Gabibov testified that he caused the death of his wife through negligence. In the afternoon of May 26, during investigative actions with the suspect in the forest, Aria located in the Petrodvortsovsky district. The body of the victim was found, said in the mine, investigative department of the investigative comedy for St. Petersburg. What happened on that ill-fated day? In the evening of April 21st, Dolner sat at home alone and prepared dinner for her husband, but he was delayed. He showed up around 2 a.m. already on April 22nd, drinking beer with friends in a bar. According to Samir, that night in his wife's phone, he allegedly accidentally saw the installed program for messaging in the VC. I asked her to delete it. I didn't want her to communicate with anyone. She said she had deleted it, but on April 27, I realized that she had cheated, described his mental anguish at the trial, Gabibov. I also saw a photo of her in her underwear on her phone. After that, Samir asked the court to remove the listeners from the hall, saying that the story will be about intimate details. As the girl's relatives later told, Samir openly accused Dulnar of having an affair on the side. According to him, she was taking pictures for some unknown lover. He found out, got angry, hit her, hit her again, and another. So, according to forensic data, Samir beat his wife for about half an hour. Her body was later found to have 32 injuries. He hit her head, grabbed her neck, Experts did not rule out that he also kicked her with his legs. At the same time, Gabibov said that he killed his wife accidentally, and when he came to his senses, she was already cold. I tried to resuscitate her, pouring water on her, but she had no pulse, she turned white. I realized that she was no longer alive, sighed Samir. When asked by the judge why he didn't call an ambulance and didn't call Dolner's parents, Samir only lowered his eyes like a guilty schoolboy. I don't remember, I don't know. Here are his most frequent remarks at the trial on January 10, 2017. Neither Gulner's family nor friends believe in the lover's version. A lovely student, she worked as a dental assistant after classes and always rushed home afterward. Guli was the eldest of three children in the family. The defense didn't provide a single piece of evidence that the girl had a boyfriend. But even if she had, she didn't deserve to die. On the night of the murder, Samir drank beer with friends, came home, took a shower, made love to his young wife, and in the morning, he buried her corpse in the forest of Petrodvortsovsky district. He took the body out in a minibus together with his brother, but assures 
that he was not aware of it, that he was lucky, and the grave was dug allegedly by one. And although the investigation has no questions for Kanar Habibov, Father Pulnar is sure that his brother helped Samir to get rid of the body. At the trial on January 10th, Gabibov especially emphasized that he gave a sincere confession. If I had not come and confessed, they would never have found me. He frankly told the prosecutor and all present. The investigation insists they already had evidence against him. The state prosecutor asked for 14 years of strict regime for Gabibova. Samir's lawyer expects eight. Gulnar's family also sued Gabibov for 10 million rubles. But the latter has already stated that it was too much. It should be divided by 10, Samir stated. On January 19, 2017, the Kirov District Court ruled on the case of murder of student Gulnara. Her husband, Samir Gabibov, was found guilty of the murder. He was sentenced to 10 years in a strict regime colony. The court also ordered him to pay 5 million rubles in favor of the family. The announcement of the verdict took more than 50 minutes. Before the announcement, Gabibov apologized to Gulnara's family, said that he regretted his act and there was not a day that he did not think about it. He also expressed hope for a reduced sentence as he cooperated with the investigation and has children from his first marriage. Support the video with a like and the channel with a subscription and all the best to you. Be careful.